How's it going YouTube? Um, I know this isn't the normal intro for Video Game Hunting Live episodes, but um, this week, or the, today, actually was pretty bad at the swap meets, to be honest. Um, as you'll see, I only have a few clips, uh, some live clips, then the rest is just um, me showing you some things I picked up at the garage sales. Uh, yeah, because I went to the garage sales after the uh, swap meets, and I didn't, I found a lot of stuff actually at the garage sales. I uh, wasn't expecting it, but I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna start the episode. Just uh, just letting you guys know that there's not too much live stuff on this episode, so we're gonna do it a little different this time. And uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Anyways, thanks guys. Peace. It's very fucking early today, guys. It's like 6.14. Barely any sun out. Are these just cases? Oh. Um, how much for them? There's nothing in them. Dollar each. Okay. I guess. <laughs> so you don't have anything new? Not today. Alright. Hey guys, I actually forgot to show you that I picked up Quest 64 and Mortal Kombat 4 for two bucks or four bucks total, not so two bucks a piece. Anyways, um, Cypress was a dud today, but I guess I'll be going to Golden West. I mean, running pretty low on gas, but we'll probably make it. And it's pretty early, it's 650. All right, guys, hopefully do better over there. Peace. Damn guys, I struck out pretty bad today at the swap meets. I didn't get anything at all at the uh, Golden West. And I'm about to go to some garage sales. Um, there's a neighbor neighborhood garage sale nearby. I uh, haven't done any garage sale in a while, so maybe we have some luck there. I'll show you guys what I get. I don't think I'll be filming at the garage sales. Maybe, I don't know. I'll see. Alright guys, peace! Alright, well I don't have my GoPro right now, but I'm just filming off my iPhone. Picked up these four PS2 games. They're like in excellent condition for six bucks total. And then these Levi's for, what is it, three bucks. Not bad at all. And there's still a whole neighborhood to go through. Later. Alright guys, went down another block. Picked up some other cool stuff. Uh, I thought I'd never find this VHS, but um, I found one. <laughs> All these were buck. Um, there's something under that I. Sp it's another VHS that I spent 20 bucks on. Crazy, right? But hopefully it's worth it. I'll show you guys later when I get home. Uh, another block to go through. Peace. All right, YouTube. Uh, we're here for today's recap at the from the swap meets and the garage sales. So we'll start off with the swap only swap meet things I picked up, and um, wasn't too much actually. So as you saw, I've stopped by Sam's Boot first, the uh, cr cranky Asian guy in the morning. He was pretty uh, happy today for some reason, but he didn't have anything to anything new to sell. So. I just picked up some empty DS cases for a dollar a piece. We got, and they're all complete with their manuals, but they're no, they have no games. They have their manuals and their little inserts and whatnot. So we got Dragon Quest IX, what is that? Sentinels of the Starry Skies. And we got Dragon Quest VI, Realms of Revelation. I'm not gonna bother opening these up, um, because it's just a manual in there. Anyways, we got Kingdom Hearts 350 Days 
over two days. 358 over two days. I, I have no idea how to pronounce that. But, yeah. Got Castlevania, Order of Ecclesia. And Final Fantasy XII, Revenant Wings. So I'm not going to sell any of these cases, just in case if I run into them loose. Unless I find another copy with the case and all that. Then I'll probably sell these, but other than that, I'm just holding on to them. <laughs> and we picked up two N64 games. We got Quest 64. And Mortal Kombat 4. I didn't get that on video, but I picked it up from a vendor for two bucks a piece. Anyways, guys, that was about it at the Cypress Swap Meet. So I drove all the way to Golden West, to the uh, Golden West Swap Meet. Walked around, was hope was walking for quite a while until I found anything. Until I found, I was trying to find something actually. I didn't find anything. Um, it was just the same stuff I've seen like prior weeks. So. Eventually, I ran into a scene, one of the guys that I uh, frequently see every time I'm there. I already knew he had gone through the backside because um, he looks for video games too. So I already knew he <laughs> probably checked most of the stuff out. So I had decided just to walk back, go back to the car, and go home. But I had checked my iGarage sale app on my iPhone. And there was a nearby neighborhood garage sale, so I decided to stop by since I had pretty good luck at those um, neighborhood sales. Just because there's so many people having a garage sale, it's better than driving a, uh, to like one spot to another spot. And by the time you might get there, there's no games. Anyways, I used the ask before you leave tactic, you know, where you ask if you have any old video games. because. Um, that's just because they might not have it out yet so and that worked like I would say just to give a percentage wise I guess 60 to 80 percent um, which is pretty high uh, people had a video game stay at this garage show so we'll, let's just get into it enough talking we stopped by the first well the first garage show I picked something up at it was a chick she had she said she had some PlayStation 2 games and by the her appearance I didn't think I would pick up any of these games I have right here just because I would think she would just pick like some weird games like SSX I, I don't know what I was thinking rock band guitar hero but she, she had some pretty quality titles for the PlayStation 2 so first off I picked up Mad Maestro These were all, I picked up four games for six bucks, that's like a dollar fifty a piece. And they're all in excellent condition and complete. I'll, I'll even show you. Uh oh. Okay, well, this one's a fuck up. <laughs> Has the Crash Bandicoot, um, Rat the Cortex manual. Oh well, uh, not too concerned about that game actually, so I just picked it up because I didn't have it. I uh, also don't have this one, Ratchet and Clank, Size Matters. Complete. Now, happy to find these two, actually. We got Dark Cloud 2. Complete. I'm not sure if it's supposed to have a map or something, but I don't think so. It's complete, though. Happy to find this. I always find Dark Cloud, but I never find Dark Cloud 2. And another great one. I didn't. Sh I wasn't sure if this was um, um, valuable, like the Xbox one, but I guess it is for the PS2. And it's Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Complete. All right. So that was a dollar fifty a piece. Six bucks total. Then after that, um, just walking around to another couple of garage sales, and I ran, to, ran into this one. Um, it's like a family hosted one, and there was a kid there about, I would say 17 to 18. I'm not sure actually. I can't put an age on him, 
But I had seen Radius 3 on the floor, which was for a dollar. And then there was a whole box of other like loose CDs and computer games. Um, then I saw Bushido Blade 2, missing the manual. Dollar as well. And then I had seen these two VHSs in the box as well. And I never think I would find this VHS, but uh, I finally did. So the Donkey Kong one. That was a buck. Now this one, I was hoping to get for a buck as well, but he, I guess he checked eBay and he came up with a price of $30. And I, I kind of walked away at, from it at first, but um, went back, did some research on, uh, on my phone. Didn't find too much, because I, I kind of like looked up the wrong thing on eBay, um, but Anyway, I, I decided to take a risk for $20. I picked up the Final uh, so Squaresoft uh, Collector's VHS. It has Final Fantasy VII, Bushido Blade, uh, Saga Frontier, and Final Fantasy Tactics in it. Yeah, so, uh, I don't know. I think I overpaid, or I just paid retail for it, but I don't care. I'll probably never find that video, because it's pretty rare, I right hear. And, yeah, anyways. I went to, it was somewhat like a, I guess they were fundraising, um, and I found a fundraiser sale, so it was hosted by a whole bunch of kids and whatnot, so it was a compilation of kids stuff, they're trying to help money, help raise money for a team. Again, I found an empty DS case, Scribble Knots, but it has the manual as well, and I bundled bundled that with uh, some other things. We got some loose GameCube games. We got Pokemon Coliseum. The disc looks like it should play. I'll, I'll probably test it. I already have this game, but I'm just going to use that to make my money back. As well as Mario Golf. I have this as well, and it should play. And I also picked up, what is this, two plug and plays. We got the Namco plug and play with multiple games. And we picked up the Activision one. It doesn't show what games, but I'm pretty sure they're just Activision games. And we picked up two toys. We got like a squishy, I don't know what this is. It's not squishy actually, it's just, there's a hole in it, but it's Jigglypuff. It's from 1998. And we picked up this little maze, pyramid maze, Super, uh, the Super Mario pyramid maze. I remember having one of these as a kid. Um, it's from 1997, it's a official Nintendo made by applause and it's just one of those quirky mazes where you, you direct the ball I have no idea where it just goes on and on but yeah I got those loose games that empty Nintendo DS case and the two toys and the two t plug and plays for four dollars which wasn't that bad at all and um, I was talking to the guy that was uh, kind of posting the sale for like I guess he's the coach of the team and he was tell, uh, talking to me about like old stuff and he mentioned um, he had a Magnavox Odyssey and he, uh, he said just give me your number text me and I'll text you back later when I get home and we'll I'll go ahead and sell it to you so I was like not bad I made a connection over there so it wasn't a bad uh, sell at all so anyways I picked up a few more things I had two more sales. I picked up two PS2 games again. We got Thunderstrike for 250. So these are two for five. And I picked up a greatest hits copy of Jack and Daxter. 
Thunder Strike's a uh, complete, as well as Jack and Daxter. The only reason I picked this up was because it had a first party PS1 memory card. I, I could care less about Jack and Daxter. I mean, it's not a bad game, it's just that I would have rather picked up a non greatest hits copy of Jack and Daxter. So, two for five. And then the last sale. I picked up modern games and one original Xbox game. And these were for, I guess it was like, I think five bucks. I picked these four games up. We got Fusion Frenzy for the original Xbox, the Platinum Hits Edition. It's complete. Um, and then these are current gen systems we got NBA 2K9 for the Xbox 360 complete it's crazy because it even has the <laughs> $34 the $35 price tag on it and he gave it to me for like I don't know how how would you divide five dollars between four games but I don't know then we have Marvel Ultimate Alliance with Forza Motorsports 2. Forza 2, I guess. Forza 2 or Forza Mo I, I don't know how to, I don't know which way it goes. Forza 2 or Motorsport 2. But yeah, pretty cool pickup. And then, not the original case, but it's Fallout 3. And it's in there with no manual. So yeah, that was about it at the garage sales. I'd say that was a pretty great haul and the prices at garage sales are way better than the swap meet and in my opinion, well most of the time they are just because people are just getting rid of stuff not where as where as they're trying to make money. But yeah guys, um, I'm going to put it, there's actually a clip I'm going to put at the end of this video where I show you what I've picked up on Friday that I won off the propertyroom.com auction. Um, it's more boxed playstations plus some other stuff so you might want to check it out. Anyways guys thanks for subscribing I appreciate it you guys got me all the way up to 78 right now. Um, I'm gonna probably do a contest when I do when I do get a hundred subscribers and give back to the gaming community and whatnot. So thanks again guys for subscribing um, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, like it if you like this video. Sorry there wasn't that many live content today, just it was really dry at the swap meet today. And I might, it might have to do with the weather, <laughs> it's really hot in California today. Anyways guys, thanks for watching again, go ahead and leave a comment, let me know if, what you guys think about this video, if you guys liked it, if you... I don't know, if, if there's something I need to work on, probably my speaking skills, Just I just keep repeating myself for some reason. Um, and that's about it guys. Thanks for watching guys. <laughs> Third time again, and peace. Enjoy the clip. Hey guys, um, just the last thing. Um, so I had picked this Hewlett Packard HP 32S2 RPN Scientific Calculator at the garage sales today. The same uh, garage sale where I picked up these 360 games and that one original Xbox game and I just checked it up online before I um, was I'm about to edit this video but I just wanted to add this clip guys when you're out there in the wild uh, searching for video games be sure to search for these HP calculators these scientific ones take a gamble on them if they're cheap because this one is worth around 119 134 you know just the average price I'd say 100 to 120 so I, I've had some luck with these HP calculators back in the past when I was uh, reselling stuff so just a little tip from me to you when you want to make your money back on spending video games and you don't want to sell the video games you have look for other items to sell to recuperate your your losses you know and this is one tip from me to you HP calculators, baby. Thanks for watching again, guys. Uh, subscribe. Peace. Love you. 
Hey YouTube, CJ from Retro Hunger here. So I won another pallet from PropertyRoom.com. So I'm gonna head over there to the warehouse to pick up my pallet and um, show you guys what I picked up. Hopefully there's not gonna be too many people there like last time because they were all lurking over my pallet seeing what I got. Um, if that's the if there's not that many people, I'll try and film what I picked up uh, at the same time I'm loading it. So I'll let you guys know. Peace. Alright guys, so I just got done loading up the stuff. Just covering up some information so you don't see where I live and whatnot. But propertyroom.com. I spent $120.66 on game systems and more. Um I think I I think I miscalculated on this. I kinda took a gamble on it. Um, with not knowing if the the systems were factory sealed or not, fortunately two of them were not. But I'll show you what I got. Oh, I'll show you the main things, or like the best things of the lot. Start up up here. We got a pack of Polaroid 600 film, which I didn't know it was that was in there. 30 pack. These usually go for 20 bucks. A pack so it should be like 50 bucks even if it's if it's expired guys pick those up if they're still sealed <laughs> we got four ninjangos and uh, or ninjago ninjago legos 22.59 model number um saw one of these go for 20 they're all factory sealed so roughly 60 to 80 dollars right here and we got some games and dvd a dvd got get shorty be cool a double feature I don't know I, I guess I'll keep it and watch it <laughs> I don't know what to do with this but we got two factory sealed games ultimate spider-man uh, no rips in the seal I don't know what it's going for as well as to Tony Hawk's American Wasteland factory sealed no rips in the seal first time ever finding um, factory sealed GameCube games so that was cool we got what is this? Spider-Man vs. Venom, designed for the Nintendo GameCube. I guess these are GameCube controllers by Naki, and um, it's brand new. So I don't know what to do with these. I, I, I don't know what they're going for either. Uh, thought this was factory sealed, but it's not. The seal was broken. It's a Silver Express Polaroid. Um, probably keep it because I collect Polaroids. The only factory sealed system we got, um, another DualShock PlayStation, I uh, had recently sold one for 135 or something, I, I forgot, but yeah, probably saw this one, got another factory sealed one at home, uh, questionable one, that's online right now, I put it for like 85 so if anyone wants that, get on it now. Um, now, I saw these in the picture. Or the description pictures, and um, I was hoping they were factory sealed, but fortunately, this one they're both open. The seal, this one seals broken. This one seals uh, like unglued, but this one is brand new inside the box. So I'm just guessing the seal broke on this, but I might. I'm gonna keep this. Probably sell the the Gran Turismo 3 bundle. It's missing Gran Turismo 3. Uh, the PS2 is pretty mint, as well as the controller, and it comes it has like a memory card in there and a Game Shark memory card. But probably sell off the GT3 bundle. Haven't seen any online with the box. Or, well, I don't know. I don't know yet. And if the, you guys are curious, I don't even know what this big box is. Um, there's some random electronics that are brand new inside the box. Outdated stuff though. Um, it's like a air pump for the car. And there's some DVD players in the back, but that's about it guys. Um, I think I spent, I spent too much on it. Um, just hoping to make my money back. Well, I'll probably make my money back. I'm just, I was just hoping for like a seal, a factory sealed PS2. Two factory sealed PS2s, but didn't happen anyways guys uh, I don't know if I'll have a, a video game live episode this week 
not, this will probably replace it. So stay tuned for the next episode of Video Game Hunting Live and Thrifting Weekly. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate it. Peace.